children in every country have a right to survive. So for example, getting measles vaccine out to children so they don't die of measles. Uh, we actually funded in North Korea uh, the availability of measles vaccine. And I, I don't think you can say too many good things about the North Korean government. Uh, and yet, you know, it wasn't our view that the children of North Korea should die of measles because they have a bad government. So when it comes to saving children's lives, we're not that picky. Um, you know, we, we don't blame them uh, for whatever shortcomings their government might have. Uh, and so we work, you know, we do health and agriculture in the DRC. Uh, you know, we do it in Somalia where there's no government. Uh, it, you know, seems like a basic human value to us that uh, children should, should be able to survive and that their parents care about that. Uh, and, uh, you know, so our work is, is really global in, in nature. Uh, we do a lot better when the government also shares those values. And, you know, in my speech today, I gave some great examples where Ethiopia, the values of improving health, the values of uh, improving farmer productivity, uh, you know, this government has... If you look at it, a very pro-poor way of allocating the resources and its its priorities. So, you know, no government is perfect, but by some metrics I think are fairly important, the kind of progress that's been made here is is exemplary. Uh, and as you, there is a tendency as you improve health and nutrition and these things that you drive economic development, and as you drive economic development, uh, there's a tendency to have improved governments. Even the rich countries don't have perfect governments, not the United States, not, uh, you know, I don't think there's any one that uh, would, would uh, you'd say that. In terms of seeds, um, we work on public domain seeds. We are the biggest funder in the world of uh, public domain seeds. Uh, so the CG system, uh, which uh, makes great seeds, those are seeds that are free, and the very best science in the world to make the best seeds uh, for poor farmers in the world, those will be free. And you know, the idea of can we really use science to help those farmers to avoid starvation, to avoid nutrition, uh, that, you know, that's simply a matter of helping out, out those farmers. So there's no agenda about you know, royalty-based seeds or licensed seeds for poor countries in Africa. In fact, even the, the seed companies have donated their expertise for free uh, to build better seeds uh, that can be used here. Uh, there's a group called, uh, uh, a group working on um, drought tolerance maize, uh, a DTMF, uh, uh, where they have, uh, they're just doing public <coughs> domain seeds to work in that area. So, you know, to help poor farmers, uh, you know, we're backing a lot of research, and there's, there's no, no return for anyone except less kids who are, are malnourished. You're right. Um.